Teresa with Crafty with Teresa. Thank you for joining me today. Well, welcome to my next Frugal Friday video series. First, I want to say welcome. I have some new subscribers. Thank you so much for being here. For everyone else that has stuck with me, thank you also. I appreciate all of you so much. Today, I was working on my patriotic cards and realized I didn't really have a flag. So I wanted to make a masculine card and put a flag in the bed of the truck. The person I'm giving it to has a birthday in July around Independence Day. So if you've been with me, you know I like to experiment. So this video will be about using what you have to create that flag. These videos are usually short and sweet, so let's see how we do. Take a look and let me know what you think. Hopefully this will give you ideas and inspiration. Now, let's get to crafting. I have several ways I'm going to actually try to create the red stripes. First, you'll see that I'm actually going to just basically take some white cardstock, put some Versamark ink on it, add some red glitter, embossing powder, heat set that, and that would be one way to make the red stripes. Another idea is to take some scrapbook.com pops. As you'll see here, it took me several tries to get the waves that I wanted, so I just didn't give up. you're going to see that I'm going to be using alcohol ink as well as a gauze pad. Now in this case I'm using the Tim Holtz gauze pads but you can actually use a gauze pad that you have in your house in your first aid kit. I just happen to have the Tim Holtz pads here. As you can see, it's a little thick the first time, but not to despair, because guess what? I'm actually going to use one of those and show you what that looks like with a little TLC. And last but not least, I grabbed a rubber band and I took it, I added it to some alcohol ink, pressed on it, and then drug it across the paper. That again took a couple tries, but I really liked the final product here.
I wanted to get this out, so I was only able to get two cards done for this video. As always, if you haven't already subscribed, I would love for you to subscribe and like my videos. If you hit the notification button, you'll see new videos as they come in. And it helps YouTube to notice me. If you have other ideas you'd like me to share, please comment in my video or drop me a note in my email address at craftywithteresa at gmail.com. Until next time, have a great day.